What's up guys, it's Bob Morreale here. Welcome back to another episode of On The Dyno. During this talk, we're going to be going over E85 and beyond because there's some more secrets that you can tune into to find even more power for that engine. So let's get started. All right guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be discussing E85 and beyond. And what that means is you've probably already gotten your car tuned on E85 up from pump gas to make some extra power. So who is this really talking to? This is guys running forced induction most of the time, superchargers, turbos, and stuff like that. So let's just assume you've already gotten straight to E85, which is our purple can here, which is where we keep our E85. I'm gonna go ahead and draw on my little uh, iPad here and I've made a chart for us to go over horsepower and torque, uh, really just horsepower today, uh, just as examples. And so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a baseline. And so let's just say we came up here and we made about 550 on 93 octane, okay? And then we went ahead and did our tuning already, and this is you guys watching, you've probably already done this. Maybe you're making 600 on E85. Okay, cool, no problem. That looks good, you're making good power, but how do you get from where we perceive the endpoint is? Like most of your good tuners are gonna go, man, this is kind of like your endpoint, but I'm gonna tell you some secrets to get just a little bit higher. Maybe you can win that next race a little bit better. So how do we get to that point, right? We're already tuned for this. That means the fuel's dialed in, the spark is maxed out, the boost is maxed out, there's no knock, but if you go any further, we start to see some knock, right? So E85, as you buy it from the pump, probably isn't E85, it's probably more like a 60% concentrate, depending on where you live. But what does that really mean? That means that if it's E60, that means about 60% of this is ethanol, the rest is 87 octane. That's how the traditional pump gas guys do it at the pumps. So it's probably got an octane of around 100. But what you could do is you could actually go to a VP race fuels or some real high quality race fuel E85 as well and actually get stuff that's not cut with 87 octane, but it's cut with 100 or 110 or whatever they cut it with to continue to increase that octane. So you may be running pump E85, but I'm telling you your limits aren't quite as good as they could be if you were to run a true E85 from a, a reputable fuel company. So that's the first little secret. You can still run E85 and it's still E85, but it's just a better quality because it's cut with a higher octane. So that's, thing, that's the first thing you can do. The next thing you can do, boosting, right? You can throw some boosting in on top of your E85 as a shot to increase that octane, especially if you are using a pump E85. Like I said, if it's cut with 87, you really don't have that great of an octane. Do that, retune, pick up some additional power through some more boost that your engine will tolerate now or some more spark that it'll tolerate now so this is going to be your first go-to but wait there's more if you guys have been watching tv for any length of time you laughed at that all right what is this thing okay you can laugh at this that's okay this is off our c6 we teach on all the time it's got a pro charger it's forced induction but sometimes we convert it and this is just the setup to convert it back to na but that's not what's really important about this this is just my example and in this example you'll notice this thing right here. This is where the next step in finding more power comes from. This is called a meth injection kit. The nozzle goes into here. This is not the kit, but the kit's nozzle goes into here. So we like meth injection kits from Alki Control, great company, fantastic stainless lines, known them for a really long time. And the, the nozzle goes after the mass airflow sensor and injects cool methanol into the system. And as the boost picks that up and brings it in, it drops the temperatures and creates a denser air charge. So just doing that alone, you'll pick up 20, 30 horsepower. So we're gonna go ahead and draw ourselves a new line. Let's say we've got a purple line here. We're gonna call this with meth. There we go, I'm drawing like it's meth. Hang on a second, guys. There we go. And we're now we're making 625. Cool, we're making more power. So that's the next step in the sequence to find more power. You're gonna put something like meth injection on. Now, the next step after this is we're going to tune for the meth. Some people get a little scared by that because they're like, well, if the meth doesn't work, I've tuned for it, I'm probably gonna knock. That's a possibility. But if you're running a race engine, or if you're running uh, really for performance, it's really not an issue. We've seen people do this for 20 years. So what that means is you don't just inject the meth. That means you retune for the meth, which means you can add more spark or you can add more boost as needed to optimize and 
find that extra power. And this is usually when things are just on the octane limited side of an engine. So guys, keep in mind, every step you go up here allows you to raise the boost or adjust the spark as you need. Now, I've got this one last thing, and this is usually the go-to for people that are like, hey man, look, I just, I wanna win. I really gotta win this one race, and this happens. This is not something you do every day on the street, but you gotta have the meth injection kit to use this, okay? So in the meth injection kit, there's typically like a washer fluid tank or something to hold the methanol that gets injected, and it's only injected at full throttle, so keep that in mind. But this is the good stuff, and this stuff goes into your methanol, and it mixes with it, and what it does is technically nitromethane. So I know what you're thinking, hang on, I've seen stories from like the 1960s where dragsters were like exploding, these guys were running just straight nitromethane, and that's true. However, if you use this in the quantities that they direct, in this case, this is eight ounces per one and three quarters quart, this will add another 30 to 50 horsepower. So now we're talking going from 625 to maybe say 675, just because why not? And so, you know what guys, I think that's one of the best things that we can understand is that it's not always about adding more and more parts necessarily. Yeah, the meth injection kit is a part, but understand this, it's about making these things work together to optimize and find the, the best power output you can for what you're trying to do. So just a quick summary, if you're gonna run around on the street, no problems whatsoever, you're just running E85, great, cool. You're probably making 600 at the wheels. You wanna throw meth injection on top of that, works great on the street as well. It'll keep everything clean and cool. And you're probably gonna make more like 620, 630, 640, depending on how you tune it. And then of course, you can go even higher when you add stuff like boosting, or you add stuff like nitro booster, boosters, 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 um, which just simply, this just simply goes right into your meth injection kit and allows you to have that extra kick and give you that extra power that you need. Maybe you're at a drag strip doing some whatever kind of racing. You just want to make sure that you win that class. Guys, this is just the way that us old school tuners at this point have approached making sure that we win. So I hope you have a great time watching this and as always, stay tuned.